Welcome back to the TSB's channel. Let's see how to interface any transceiver to an external SDR in order to obtain a pan adapter. So what we want to do is extract the first if signal from our radio so as to send it, through a buffer, to an external SDR receiver. In this case the buffer is our iFace. In this way we can make a copy of the radio signals around the frequency we are tuning, and we can have it on our computer screen. Furthermore, we can improve reception with many filters and all the possibilities that digital demodulation offers today. On our website you will find many instructions to install iFace on your radio. But what needs to be done to adapt it to any radio? Surely you can get the information yourself, the procedure is always the same. First, you must get the service manual of your radio. In this case, what you are seeing is the work done for a Kenwood TR751. So we will take the service manual and go to find the block diagram, and then the wiring diagram, of our radio. Here we will find the information we need to connect the iFace interface, and from there go to the external SDR receiver. Let's begin. In particular, what we should find will be the first RF mixer in the receive chain. Then, we will have to go to the radio schematic, the wiring diagram, to extract the information we need. Here it is. Here we see the PLL frequency synthesis part. But we have to find the RF part, the one that affects the reception. In particular we have to find the first reception mixer, the one based on the Q202 transistor. From these diagrams we will extract all the various information, and among these, obviously, also the power supply. In this case we found it on this IC, a 7808. Going back we will find a connector where we will have, for example, a 13.8 volt voltage. So back to the instructions, the ones you find on our website, here we see what we propose each time. In addition to an informative graphic, you will find the block diagram. Let's see the reception signal path. In this block diagram you can see the antenna, the preamplifier, the mixer, the intermediate frequency filter. Then, between the mixer and the filter, we take the signal to send to the SDR. Let's go into a little more detail. We see that the mixer consists of the transistor Q202, a 3SK74. The intermediate frequency filter is connected to the drain of this transistor. Between these two is the sampling point of the RF signal voltage. Let's now move on to the wiring diagram. Here is the point where to take the signal. Unfortunately the quality of the diagram is not great, but they are old documents. Let's go into a little more detail. Let's look for the power supply. We can take it from a point of the circuit where there is a 13.8 volt voltage. Moving on, let's look for where to get these signals on the printed circuit board. First thing, let's take the image of the layout of our PCB, in this case of the RF unit, and let's look for where the pickup point of the F signal is. This will be on the drain of transistor Q2. Here it is. In this area, however, on the left, we find where to take the power. For more detail, in this slide we see the Q202 transistor with its drain. This is the point where to get the signal. In this we see how to power our iFace. The power supply will be taken between pin 5 of the J5 connector and the JP14. This should be a jumper, a metal bridge. We can take the return to the ground on this whole track, here or even here, or in another point, there are several on the printed circuit board. We can also use the GND of some component, here we have a 7808, a voltage regulator. The ground pin is the central one. We have the ground signal also on connector J6 as well as on J7. All we have to remember is to get the information about the power supply and the IF signal. We can apply this method not only to the TR751, but to any other radio. We start from the block diagram, we find the position of the first mixer and its intermediate frequency filter, and between these two we will find the point where to take the IF. We send this to a buffer, our iFace, without the system it will not work, and from this to an external SDR receiver. In this case, the receiving and transmitting circuits are separate. So we have a path for receiving and a path for transmitting. It is therefore not necessary to use the PTT, although iFace obviously can manage it, it can be connected on this 3-pin connector. We hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, put like on the video and share. Thanks.